this, Scott? So what was your fear of flying? Um, it's claustrophobia and not being in control. Pretty claustrophobia bad. Claustrophobia and not being in control. How did you find the ground course? Yeah, it's really good. Obviously, that the stuff about the plane, it helped me. But it's more to do with techniques so I had to stop the anxiety coming in, stop the fear, stop stories which you play in your head. You know, it all helps. If you stop those, then, well, that's it. You can do anything. So you found that uh, ground course quite useful. Oh, yeah. What about the actual flight? How were you on the flight? Absolutely fine. It, when I got on it, I was, you feel it straight away. You feel it build up and then you just do the techniques and suppress it. And before you know, you just look around and you're in the air and you just think, well, the hard part's done. For me, the hardest part was getting to the airport. Once I did that, I realised that once I was on the plane, the hard part is getting to the airport. Once you've done that, so it's just a matter of you've already completed it, you just need to do the physical process. And that's how it felt for me. I was getting on the plane, I felt like I already did it anyway. And when I landed, it was just, well, I have done it. So it was amazing. Yeah. So what would you say to other fellow who are terrified? I like 100 percent do it. 18 years for me, and I didn't do it. Not until I had my little boy. My, my missus, you know, she really wants me to go on holiday. And I couldn't, you know, it's really hard for me. And now, you know, I can't wait to take him away. And I took a girlfriend away as well. You know, she's hounding me. But it's honestly, it's life changes. It's changed my life. And I can't wait, you know, to take my little boy abroad. And, you know, 18 years of my life, I'm going to have to try to get it back now. So loads of holidays. Never too late, Scott. No. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. What's your fear of flying? Um, it was the motion of the aeroplane itself, um, once taking off up in the air, any slight movement, any odd noise, the sensation, my brain almost didn't want to register with it, um, making it very difficult to cope with when anxious and it just takes over um, and when you can't enjoy a flight, you want to fly. So. How has it affected your life? Um, well, I've got most of my family over in Northern Ireland and uh, not being able to go over and see them obviously really upsetting my grandparents, my aunties and uncles. I miss them a lot. It's been about four or five years now, so doing the course is a bit cheaper to get over there now. Yeah, so you'll be able to just get on the plane. Yeah. How did you find the ground course? Amazing. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I arrived um, and I've actually stayed at the hotel before where we did it which was nice. Um, it was very interesting to learn everything that we learned while on it. Um, and it just, it takes you away, it blows you away, yeah. Um, the, the course, the ground course was absolutely excellent. And for one thing, it made me feel um, it wasn't just me. I'm, I'm not an isolated case. Um, half the room stood up uh, when uh, we were asked if it was claustrophobia. Um, it was very professionally run, it ticked all the boxes of all the fears that anybody might have and I think too there were lots, lots of things in it, lots of good advice that would actually help in life in general. So I would absolutely strongly advise it to anybody, um, whatever their anxiety about flying is. Absolutely excellent. I, I loved it. I thought it was absolutely tremendous. I, I just can't wait to fly now. <laughs> Um, face it, do the course um, and do it thoroughly, that's the other thing, don't just glide over it, um, really take it on board, practice the techniques um, because they really do change you and it really is possible to just change the way you think about things and just dispel that phobia.